Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will look a bit more at CDP, Cisco Discovery Protocol. This should be a fairly short lab, looking at one more CDP command, which we didn't cover in the last lab. We will use CDP to identify more detailed information about neighboring devices beyond that displayed in the show CDP neighbors command. Step one is to use CDP to identify which interfaces are used to connect the routers and switches. We've done this in previous labs, so this should be no problem. Let's go on switch one first. Enable, show CDP neighbors. As you can see, switch one is connected to R1 via the Gigabit Ethernet 01 interface. And it's also connected to R1's Gigabit Ethernet 01 interface. Next, let's go to R1. Enable, show CDP neighbors. R1 is connected to switch one via the Gigabit Ethernet 01 interface, as we just saw. It's also connected to R2 via the Gigabit Ethernet 00 interface, connected to R2's Gigabit Ethernet 00 interface. Next, let's go on to R2. Enable, show CDP neighbors. As we just saw, it's connected to R1 via the Gigabit Ethernet 00 interface, and it's connected to switch two via the Gigabit Ethernet 01 interface connected to switch 2's Gigabit Ethernet 01 interface. Next, let's go on switch 2 to confirm. Enable, show CDP neighbors. As you can see, it is indeed connected to R2 via the Gigabit Ethernet 01 interface. That's all for step one. Step two actually doesn't require any new commands. I just want to point out something I didn't identify in the previous lab. Let's look back at switch one. In the results of the show CDP neighbors command, there is a platform column. What does that identify? It's the hardware model of the neighboring device. In this case, R1 is a C1900 series router. Let's go on R1 to identify switch one and R2. So R2 is a C2900 series router, and switch one is a 2960 series switch. Finally, let's go on R2 to identify the model of its neighbor, switch two. As you can see, it is a 3560 model switch. And if you remember, the icon used to represent it here in Packet Tracer means it is a multi-layer switch. Multi-layer switches will be a topic for later labs. Finally, step three requires a new command which we didn't cover in previous labs. Actually, there are two options. We have to identify the iOS version of the neighboring devices. Note that you can do this on the device itself with the show version command. However, for practice, let's use CDP to find this information. Let's go on switch one. Now, one option is the command show CDP neighbors detail. Clearly, this gives more information than the standard show CDP neighbors command. In this case, switch one has only one neighbor, but if a device has many neighbors, this command gives information for every neighbor, which can be overwhelming. If you want to view detailed information about just one device, use this command, show CDP entry, followed by the name of the neighboring device, in this case, R1. This displays the same information, just for the specified device. Now, you can find the iOS version of R1 here. It's 15.14 M4. Now let's go on R1. Show CDP entry, switch one. Switch run is running version 12.225 FX. Let's also check R1's other neighbor, R2. Show CDP entry R2. R2 is running 15.14 M4, same as R1. Finally, let's go on R2 to find the version of switch two. Show CDP entry 
Switch 2. Switch 2 is running version 12.237 SE1. Now as a bonus, I'd like to also demonstrate the show version command I briefly mentioned before. This gives a lot of information about the device, but for now let's just confirm the iOS versions we learned about via CDP. On switch one first. Show version. As you can see, there's a lot of info here. I recommend looking through it to familiarize yourself with what's here. But let's just check the iOS version, as I said. Switch 1 is running 12.225fx, which is the same as we saw from CDP on R1. Next, let's go to R1. Show version. R1 is running version 15.14m4, same as we saw from CDP again. Next, R2. Show version. R2 is running version 15.14 M4, same as R1. Finally, switch to show version. It's running version 12.237 SE1. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.